Well, Adrian, right from the start, his friends have portrayed Nigel Wright as a straight arrow, a charitable religious man who just made a mistake by paying Mike Duffy's expenses. But now Duffy's lawyer is out to wreck that image, saying that Wright deceived the Canadian public and not out of charity, but to protect his boss. Why are you laughing, sir? The day began with the arrival of a noticeably cheery defendant. Mike Duffy clearly feels that his defense is punching holes in the prosecution's claims that he accepted a bribe from Nigel Wright. For one thing, Wright himself says no, he had the purest of motives. He was doing the right thing by reimbursing the taxpayers himself when Duffy said he didn't have the cash. But Duffy's lawyer, Donald Bain, is casting it all in a much harsher light. He says Wright bullied Duffy into claiming that he repaid his expenses, knowing that was a lie. Bain says Wright initially persuaded the Conservative Party itself to agree to pay Duffy's tab. And conservative donors are key to Bain's case because donations to all parties are heavily subsidized by tax write-offs. And the parties, too, are directly subsidized by taxpayers. So Bain said it was wrong to use those funds, asking Wright, the conservative party, according to you, can use them to pay inappropriate expenses secretly? Wright, I thought it was a valid thing to do. Bain, if it was a valid thing to do, why did you want it kept secret? Wright, I didn't think it was wrong. Bain, you use public funds and taxpayer donor funds without telling Canadians, and you think that was a principled and ethical thing to do? Right. I thought that was okay. Bain, do you not think that's a fraud on the taxpayers who subsidize this fund, a deliberate and calculated deception of Canadians? Right. I didn't think of it that way at the time. I mean, I just didn't think it was wrong. In the end, the Conservative Party backed out, and Nigel Wright paid Duffy's bill. And the scandal continues to dog the Prime Minister on the campaign trail, notably because his senior aides devised a false story about Duffy paying his own bill. Harper was asked why he tolerated that deception. I would simply not accept the premise of that question. Um, these are the actions of Mr. Duffy and Mr. Wright. Uh, you hold people responsible for their own actions. You certainly don't hold subordinates responsible for the actions of their superiors. These are the two people who are responsible, and they are being held accountable. But the evidence is that Wright did tell other PMO aides about his check, including Harper's current chief of staff, Ray Novak. The Conservatives say Novak never saw an email from Wright telling him beforehand that he would pay. The most recent excuse, which is that the person who has been named chief of staff of the Prime Minister of Canada to replace Nigel Wright doesn't read his emails. Again, there's no credibility whatsoever to that. These emails were from his boss mm -hmm. at the time, Mr. Wright, about the most serious scandal to engulf the government. So the whole idea that he was too busy planning next summer's Arctic tour and didn't have a chance to read the emails is completely ridiculous. And the increasingly brutal cross-examination of Nigel Wright is still not over. He'll be back next week for another tongue-lashing by Donald Bain. Adrian. Thanks, Terry. You know we'll be watching.